Do we really know what electronic waste is? Look around. We're surrounded by tons of gadgets. Your laptop, printer, television, microwave, the list goes on. Everything becomes e-waste once it's outdated. When you replace your old phone, it either gets dumped or, if best, given to a kabadiwala. In the last few years, there has been an influx of cheap electronic goods. As our income level rises, we continue to move towards a culture of consumerism. So that means there will be more and more electronic waste in the coming years. And we are just not prepared to deal with it. We do not have the infrastructure, the knowledge or awareness that we will need. Have you ever wondered where your discarded electronics eventually end up? Nepal imported 6 million phones and produced 25,000 tons of e-waste in 2018. The issue of e-waste is recent, but is said to become a problem as large and complex as single-use plastics. So what does happen to our e-waste currently? With insufficient professional infrastructure in place, most of our e-waste is handled by the informal sector. The informal scrap dealers, the kabadiwalas, are the true entrepreneurs at heart. They work round the clock, servicing people at the doorsteps, roaming around in the cycles. They only understand what they can immediately sell, which is most often high-value metals. Everything else, including toxic contents, are discarded. They are ill-prepared, unequipped and unaware of the hazards. Sadly, these places that they work in are home to their families and children. The scenario is gradually shifting with Doko Recyclers, a startup transforming the way e-waste is handled in Nepal. Instead of sending e-waste to landfills or burning it, Doko focuses on refurbishing, recycling and safe disposal. Once collected, the e-waste is separated into repairable and non-repairable items. Refurbished electronics are sent back into the market for a fraction of the cost and the non-repairable items are broken down and sent for further recycling. Toko provides secure IT asset disposal and data destruction services. As a producer responsibility organization, it enables producers of electronics to manage, handle and recycle their obsolete products. The company also holds e-waste collection drives and workshops to increase public awareness on the hazards of careless e-waste disposal. We continue to seek solutions for the challenges that we face. We're raising funds and awareness for the essential infrastructure for professional and hazard-free electronic waste management. We have procured machines that can safely handle hard-to-recycle materials or negative value items like mercury bulbs or wires so that they don't end up in our landfills. Our vision is to integrate the informal sector so that everyone in the value chain benefits. In terms of efficiency, professional e-waste facilities recover up to 95% of resources compared to 25% recovered by informal scrap dealers. This saves resources, keeps our environment clean and prevents hazards for informal e-waste handlers. A lack of e-waste policy also means there are no government regulations on how e-waste gets disposed of at the moment. Most bulk consumers of electronics, like IT companies, banks and government offices, have little or no concern for the way they manage their e-waste. It either gets auctioned or sold for a low price to informal scrap handlers without verifying how it is processed. Combined, these factors make an already challenging job even tougher for companies like Doko. The threat of exposure to toxic chemicals is significant even if we have the right setup for e-waste management. Most of item contains mercury, lead and other cancerous elements inside it. The complex nature of e-waste makes it commercially unfeasible for safe handling. The disposal cost of e-waste is higher in comparison to the recovery value out of it. 
Producers and importers of electronics in Nepal do not have sense of producer responsibility. However, there is positive changes. Companies like Philips, Cone Elevators and Samsung are participating in extended producer responsibility to manage their e-waste. Despite the numerous challenges, Doko managed 90,000 kgs of e-waste at their facility in the last two years and targets to double the impact this year. The unprofessional handling of e-waste is causing toxification of our land, water and soil. If we don't act now, the damage to the environment will be irreversible and the consequences will be felt by several of our generations to come. If unchecked, we face the beginning of a crisis. E-waste has direct effects on our environment, health and economy. This problem needs to be tackled from all angles. This means that while manufacturers take source responsibility and remove hazardous materials from production, the government needs to create and implement policies. We as consumers need to be smart about our consumption choices. Being a conscious consumer means thinking about if we really need to upgrade to the newest cell phone or if something can be repaired first and what it will cost our health and environment if we do not recycle e-waste responsibly. Let's be a part of the change. Partner with Doko Recyclers to make sure your e-waste is recycled the right way. It matters for us and for generations to come.